now that we have a better understanding of markups and markdowns, let's see if we can uh, solve word problems related to it. Here's one. A computer software retailer used a markup rate of 40% on the cost of computer games. Find the selling price of a computer game that cost the retailer $25. Okay, before we even talk mathematics, let's see if we could figure out what's going on in the story. There's a computer software retailer. So that's someone who's selling computer software, um, games, computer games, you know, different types of programs. And this uh, person has a markup, is using a markup rate of 40%. So this is important information to us. Okay, so markup rate of 40% on the cost of computer games. Find the selling price. Remember, selling price is the price they're, they're about to sell the, um, the games for. <clears throat> so find the selling price of a computer game that cost the retailer $25. Uh, remember, we talked about that if it's costing the retailer $25, this is really the cost price, right? And we know that this here is the markup rate. So let's put it together. A cost price is $25. And our markup rate all right, is 40%. So let's find, it says to find the selling price. So this is what we're here to do. We're here to find out what the selling price is. Okay, let's do that. Let's find the selling price. Uh, so let's start with uh, the 40% of $25. Let's see what the markup will be. So that's going to be decimal point 40 multiplied to $25. And when we do the math, we're going to come out to $10. So $10 will be my markup price. That's how much we're marking it up by, by $10. So finally, let me just switch up colors here. Finally, let's take the, the cost price, which was $25. Right. And we add up with the markup price. So how much will... The um, uh, the retailer sell it for. The retailer will sell it for thirty five dollars. So thirty five dollars is the selling price. Thirty five dollars is the selling price. Great. Okay, now let's take a look at another situation. And this situation is going to be dealing with markdown. Okay, let's take a look. A sweater is marked down 35% off the original price. The original price was $40. What is the sales price of the sweater? So the sweater is marked down and the uh, markdown rate is 35%. Um, let's make sure it's going to be 35% off what? It's going to be 35% off the original price. Okay, so what is the original price? It says it right here. The original price was $40. So we need that information. Original price, $40. Now, what do we have to find? What is the sales price of the sweater? What is the sales price? This is the information that we have to solve. Pretty much this whole thing here. What is the sales price of the sweater? Okay, so let's go at it again. Uh, we have uh, the markdown is 35%. Wow, we know that the price, the original price, or the, what was once the sales price, right, is $40. So let's do the math. It's going to be 35% of $40. So we remember we turned this into a decimal, which will become now 0 0.35 multiplied for of $40. Okay. And uh, when we do the math for this, let's see. Let's do it real fast. It's going to be 35 times 40. It's going to be zero, zero, put zero to hold the place. That will be 
I'm 0, 20, carry the 2. So it's going to be, move the decimal two spaces, which will come out to $14. So right now, this will not come to $14. That is the markdown, how much we're taking off. So once again, we have $40. We take it away. All right, we take away $14 from the $40. And now we have $26 is the cost of the, or the sales price of the sweater. So what we have is $26 is the sales price. All right. And that, there you have it, everybody. That's mark up and mark down. Thank you for spending time with Matt, with Mr. Antoine. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, uh, be sure to keep in touch with other videos. Talk to you soon. Peace.